You are one of some billion people on this planet. This planet is one of some hundred billion planets in this galaxy. This galaxy is one of some hundred billion galaxies in the universe. Is our universe the only one or are there other universes? In the past decades, the idea that our universe is only one of many has become popular among physicists. If there are several universes, the collection of them is called the multiverse. And physicists have a few theories for this that I want to briefly tell you about. First, there is eternal inflation. We do not know how our universe was created and maybe we will never know. But according to a presently popular theory called inflation, our universe was created from a quantum fluctuation of a field called the inflaton. In this case, there would be infinitely many such fluctuations giving rise to infinitely many universes. This process of universe creation never stops, which is why it is called eternal inflation. These other universes may contain the same matter as ours, but in different arrangements, or they may contain different types of matter. They may have the same laws of nature or entirely different laws. Really, pretty much anything goes as long as you have space, time and matter. Second, the string theory landscape. The string theory landscape came out of the realization that string theory does not, as originally hoped, uniquely predict the laws of nature we observe. Instead, the theory allows for many different laws of nature that would give rise to universes different from our own. The idea that all of these universes exist goes together well with eternal inflation, and so the two theories are often lumped together. Third, many worlds. Many worlds is an interpretation of quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, we can make predictions only for probabilities. We can say, for example, a particle goes left or right, each with 50% probability. But then when we measure the particle, we find it either left or right, and then we know where it is with 100% probability. So what happened to the other option? The most common attitude you find among physicists is, who cares? We are here and that's what we have measured, now let's move on. The many worlds interpretation, however, postulates that all possible outcomes of an experiment exist, each in a separate universe. It's just that we happen to live in only one of those universes and never see the other ones. Fourth, the simulation hypothesis. Video games are getting better by the day and it's easy to imagine that maybe one day they will be so good that we can no longer tell apart the virtual world from the real world. This brings up the question whether maybe we already live in a virtual world, one that is programmed by some being more intelligent than us and technologically advanced. If that is so, there is no reason to think that our universe is the only simulation that is going on. There may be many other universe simulations programmed by superintelligent beings. This too is a variant of the multiverse. Finally, let me briefly mention the idea popularized by Max Tegmark that all of mathematics exists and that we merely observe a very small part of it. It is this small part of mathematics that we call our universe. Are these theories science or are they fiction? I will discuss this in my next video.